The National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, Abayomi Arabambi, has alleged a discrepancy in the certificates of the presidential candidate of the party in the 2023 presidential election, Peter Obi. Speaking at a press conference this Friday in Abuja, the Labour Party spokesman claimed that Peter Obi was using his dead brother's records as his academic records made available to the public bear different names. His comment is coming on the heels of Peter Obi's press conference on the controversy surrounding President Bola Tinubu's Chicago State University certificate. As a main opposition party, the role being played by the Labour Party former 2023 presidential candidate is highly <coughs> condemnable because it is obvious he is trying to levy war against the president of Nigeria through intimidation in order to cause violence to overthrow, which is a treatable felony offense punishable by death or life imprisonment. We believe rather than Mr. Peter be engaging in this media tragedy, rascality and comedy, he should have allowed Supreme Court to advocate on the veracity of the issue raised in the President that is saga. For us in the Labour Party and to fellow Nigerians, we do not know the true identity of Peter Obi. Even in Labour Party, because everything was treated with secrecy as at the time between him and Aburi in Asaba, where we did the primary. The name Peter Gabriel B is that of his brother, killed by the drop arrow. I repeat, Peter B, that brother, his first born, was the drop arrow that was killed. He belonged to Andy Okonko, the IKB group in the early 80s. He should bring the birth certificate. And we want to know who is Gregory rather than him to you know to comport himself. He's telling the old world that is not. Recall that on Wednesday, 11th October, Peter Obi at a press conference in Abuja explained that the Chicago State University's certificate saga of the president and the lingering identity question marks have worsened the country's less than glorious image internationally, sparking reactions among stalwarts of the All Progressives Congress APC. Arabambi, who claims he was among the people who screened Peter Obi before the party's presidential primary for the February 25th presidential election, noted that the academic records submitted bore different names. He added that Peter Obi's comment at the press conference was only a tool against the president. On his NYC certificate, we know people that used to use company. We know them. It's women when they get married. I don't know whether Obi is a woman. You put Obi, Gagri, Peter, Ifin, Ongubuase. Who gave him the company? Who gave Obi the company? Has he ever told you people he's a woman? Or is more than more than another person? He put Peter, Ifin. That is a company name now. This is, he put a company name here as his name. Those are questions begging for answer. Not for you to be telling us that, oh, you are paying that the one president is a criminal, is a forger. Now, the school that mobilizes him, this is not of Nigeria, it's Canada. Everybody that goes to, to, to service know it is your school that will send your name to NYC, not you going there. So, if you write on Nigeria, you can wrote a deadly Peter, on CoB to NYC. How many M NYC now married, uh, married him up to another person? They now put Peter, I feel, on Kwasi. Obi, if we will follow crime, if we are going to follow Marquis and my governor, is a slavery of APC and PD administration, then we don't have any business to be in governor. That means we are all better of the same feather. And the Labour Party was not formed on that. It came from PDP. So it should not come and infest us with those corrupt I mean, they are corrupt in the Labour Party. We don't want that. Arabambi, who is the National Publicity Secretary of the Lamidia Papa-led faction of the party, however called on Peter Obi to be accountable to Nigerians and the international community by addressing the controversy surrounding his certificate. Mm -hmm.